Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we will discuss joint product and we're going to learn to determine whether we need to sell the product as is as the, at the split off point or process further. To learn about this concept, we need to learn about few terms up front to understand how this works. In some industries, a number of end products are produced from a single raw material. A classic example will be crude oil. From crude oil, we can produce gasoline, we can produce kerosene, we can produce home heating oil, we can produce asphalts, as well as other chemicals and other products as well. All these products, they are called joint product, in which one or more products are produced, these products are produced from one single input, and that's crude oil. Now, joint cost, joint cost means what? It means all these products are generated from the crude oil. So there's a cost here. How do we allocate this cost to the various product? Well, at the split off point, when we produce different product, we can use something called a relative sales value. What does that mean? It means, let's assume for the sake of illustration, um, gasoline sales was uh, 40,000, kerosene sales was 20,000, Home heating oil was 10,000. That's 40, 20, 60, 70. Uh, asphalt was 20,000. And other chemicals was 10,000. Those are the sales amount. What we do is we add up all the sales, and I'm trying to make the number equal to 100,000. 40 plus 20, 60, 70, 90, 100, 100,000. And what we do is we say gasoline should absorb 40 out of 100,000, so gasoline should absorb 40%, kerosene should absorb 20%, home heating oil, 10%, so on and so forth. So this is what we mean by the relative sales value. So whatever cost we incur, let's assume, you know, the cost was, you know, 30,000, we would allocate the cost to various product this way. Now we need to learn about the split off point. What is the split off point? The split off point is the manufacturing is the point in the manufacturing process where each joint product each one of these product can be recognized as a separate product so gasoline stop separate product that's the split off point get kerosene stop home heating oil stop asphalt so on and so forth so the question becomes from our perspective is do we need to sell the product as is for example we can sell the crude oil as is we can sell the crude oil as is, or we can process into gasoline, then sell, or we can process further into kerosene and sell. Maybe the kerosene comes before the gasoline, but it doesn't really matter. We can process in, into home heating oil, sell it, or process further, so on and so forth. Well, under those decisions, joint costs are irrelevant in the decision. So the cost of the crude oil, we don't take it into account. What we look into account is to see if the incremental revenue, if the additional revenue is greater than the incremental cost. If the answer is yes, we we process. Now we're gonna work an example to see how this works, but I'll give you a simple example. Let's assume you're selling your house. Actually, I'm in the process of selling my house. And let's assume the selling price is, for the sake of illustration, 300,000. This is the current selling price. And my real estate agent told me, let's assume that's the case, if I put a new roof, if I incur an additional seven thousand dollar on a new roof that's the incremental cost we can sell the house for 310 should we do it well so if i add seven thousand in cost my revenue will go up by ten thousand my revenue is greater than my, my incremental revenue is greater than my incremental cost i will do it otherwise if i put a new roof and my revenue goes up to 305 then from a mathematical perspective it does not make any sense i should not I should not improve my home by in, in, installing a new roof. I should sell as is. Now, the best way to illustrate this is to look at an example to see how this works. Now, before we look at the example, most likely you are a student or a CPA candidate. This is how you end up on this recording. That's great. Go a step further. FarhatLectures.com, where you will have additional resources such as multiple choice, true, false lectures that's going to help you with your CPA exam, CMA exam, and your accounting courses. If you have not connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so. Like this recording. If you're watching, it's helpful to you. Please like it, share it.
Connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Let's take a look at this example. Adam Inc. cuts log from which unfinished lumber and wood dust are the immediate joint product. Basically, they cut trees. Not a good idea, but that's the, that's what the, that, that's the business they are in. The unfinished lumber can be sold as is, or they can be processed further into finished lumber. The wood dust, the wood dust can be sold as is as well to gardening whole, wholesaler, or it can be processed into mulch and sold as mulch. So we need to collect more information to determine whether it's a good idea to process further or sell as is. Sales value at, at the split off point for the lumber is 150, for the wood dust is 50. The sales after further processing, so if you, if you turn the lumber into a finished lumber, you can sell it for 280. If you can turn the wood dust into mulch, you can sell it for 60 per log. Allocated joint cost, joint product cost, 186 and 34. Again, that's not relevant for us. Cost of further processing. So if you want to process the further, if you want to process the lumber further, from unfinished to finished, it's going to cost you $60. If you want to process the wood dust from wood dust to mulch, it's going to cost you $30. So let's see if we should process further or sell as is. The sales value for the lumber after we process further is $280. The sales value for the wood dust is $60. The increment, the sales at the split off, $150. And the sales as split off for the dust is 50. Therefore, we have an incremental revenue of 130 for the lumber and $10 for the dust. Now, to process further, we need to incur an additional $60 for the lumber and additional $30 for the dust. What does that mean? It means for the lumber, it's worth it because we're going to be increasing revenue. The incremental reven revenue is 160. The, the incremental cost, the, one th the incremental revenue is 130. The incremental cost is 60 we should go for it. For the dust or for the wood dust, we're going to get an additional $10, but to do so, we're going to be incurring $30. Therefore, we don't process further and we sell it as sawdust as is. So this is how we make this sell or sell as is or process further. What should you do now to learn this concept? Okay, I explain it. That's great, but you need to practice multiple choice through false additional exercises to help you learn this concept go to farhatlectures.com and do so good luck study hard and of course stay safe